Take care everyone, Path here. Hope you guys are doing well and enjoying your day. So I just parked my car here. Um, and I'll be going up uh, to the tennis court area and the swimming pool area in my uh, condominium. So join me. That's the staircase. People hardly use this area. It's so quiet. Let's go up. So this is a condominium in the east side of uh, Singapore. Look at the tennis court. The swimming pool is at the back. As you can see, there's a pathway from here going there. So it's pretty like quiet around this time. It's a Friday around 5 p.m. and uh, it's a good place to have a walk or take a deed or even play tennis. It's pretty much empty every single time apart from uh, after working hours. So I just reached at the swimming pool area. Here it is. It's quite big for the number of people living here. This is a kiddies pool. That one is the main area. There's some seating area as well. So there's a this this part of the condominium is a bit quieter with uh, some seating area and there's a swimming pool you can take a shower here as well and probably you can just sit here take it easy enjoy your day it's by the highway as well Today is how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time. It is definitely not as difficult as it sounds. First, and one of the most important things, would be nutrition. Changing your diet, focusing on higher protein and lower carbs would be a great start. As for the total amount of calories, make sure you're slightly below your maintenance calories and not too much lower, if not it will affect your muscle gain. From my experience of bodybuilding for the past 10 years, I've done all the different approaches. From the reducing calories severely and focusing on cardio, to ketogenic diet. Best would be to start off with a deficit of around 200 or so calories and reduce further over time. This would maximize your muscle gain and fat loss. This would yield the best overall results as you will see the difference in your body every week. Also, focus on having at least 3 or 4 litres of water a day. Water is essential for muscle growth and it helps on the digestive systems which would indirectly lose body fat as well. Another thing is to take out processed sugar from your diet altogether. Replace it with honey or sweetener if needed, but having natural sugar would definitely be the best option, for example from fruits. Salt can still be kept in your diet, but make sure you do not have too much of it, as sodium retains body fat. Nutrition is the utmost important factor in losing body fat and gaining muscle. Next thing will be training. Make sure you train each body part twice a week, and not more nor less as we need at least 72 hours of rest between training the same body part for the best result. If time is a constraint for you, training as little as 30 minutes would be more than enough for each body part. 
also make sure that heavier weight is not better every time. In the past, I've been training with heavier weights but my form was really bad. And when I switch to lighter weights and focus purely on form, I start to see more muscles building up. This is a very common mistake made by everyone, especially beginners. Even myself a few years back, so please make sure you focus on form before anything else. As for the cardio, focus on high intensity cardio rather than low intensity. You will gain much more muscle focusing on high intensity and you could also spend less time doing it. In the past, I've spent hours jogging and it's really bad for muscle gain. Rather, spend about 30 minutes on high intensity interval training instead. Finally, last but certainly not the least, also make sure you have enough sleep of around 7 to 8 hours every day as we need rest for fat loss and muscle gain. On top of all this, focus on a few supplements like BCAA, creatine and protein. I will share the benefits of the supplements in my future video. These are the main points to take note if you want to gain muscle and lose fat. It may sound difficult, but taking one small step would make a huge difference. It is so much more important to do something minimal rather than nothing at all. So start today. Cheat meals once in a while would be good for mental health, so don't hesitate to have one as well. One more important point to take note would be that to have your meals spread across 5-6 to six meals a day so your body is carved up constantly rather than having the majority of the calories at one part of the day. On the training side, it is important to focus on compound exercises together with isolation exercises as both has its own benefits. The compound exercise focuses on overall structure of your body whilst isolation focuses on building that particular muscle group. Thanks and hope this helps you achieve your fitness goals. Take care and have a lovely weekend.